Hey, freak, enough of the ugly dancing. Better tell us a story. As you wish, sir. But freak, huh? I'll tell you a story about freaks that you'll surely relate to. Perhaps you'll even find that we aren't very different. Before the Ash Curse came, the outcasts were the most feared gang of brigands. The world despised them, and they repaid it with twice the hatred. They robbed and killed the rich and the poor alike. The gang was unstoppable, corrupted by wealth, fortune, and impunity. The outcasts descended into madness. They now wished for an artifact granting unmatched power. The Ash Box. They embarked into the Valley of Death to recover the box. And atop the valley's peak, they found its owner, Lady Death. Leave me be and you may have the box, she said. A reward without a fight. Surely the fools agreed. However, none of them wanted to share the prize. Their strength and madness matched exactly, and they were sure to kill each other. But one tiny thing broke the balance. The most pathetic of the outcasts, the weakling, grabbed the ash box. I shall have the power, but he couldn't handle it. The box slipped out of his hand and broke into pieces. The cloud of ashes arose, corrupting every being, defiling air and soil, but most of all, corrupting the outcasts. Each in their own way, they paid the price for their hubris. That is the world we live in, and until the curse is lifted, we are all freaks, sir. Well, well, so you call us freaks, Bard. You are yet to see the worst of us. Let's show the fellas. Huh, that was a thing. We are in early access. I might be paraphrasing here, but I think... I think this game is actually not in early access yet at the time of this content. Of what I'm doing right now, and that more specifically... I'm playing an even earlier thing that has like one third of the content that the early access version will have. I think that might be the situation. I should have had this document by hand when I started this up, but it just came to mind in this just this moment real quick. Let's see. Find to take advantage of overpowered combos, bugs, and exploits that won't be in the final game. Yay! So you can help shape the game and be a part of the community and also enjoy the broken shit while it's here. Which is a fun idea in its own case. Yeah, it says we, we hope you'll enjoy our demo, which has about 35% of the early access content. So, when this game launches on early access, this game will have three times as much content as it has now. Prologue, campaign, epilogue. Complete the game for each playable character, which aren't all here yet. Let's try the prologue, I suppose. It's probably a tutorial. There we go. This is a card game. I'm not sure if it's a trading card game necessarily, in that I don't sure I don't think it I don't know if it has microtransactions or not, or even or if it even has multiplayer actually. Uh it might be a little more slay the spire e, but On I don't the know. The curse befell our miserable world. A vision came to me. I know how we can be saved. And I know who will help me do it. One of the fools who made us descend deeper and deeper into this abyss of suffering with each passing day. On that day I died and rose from the ashes. However, the rebirth cost me dearly. I feel immense pain coursing through my veins, as if I'm still burning on that fire. He gave me hope when he promised to rid me of this suffering. I will be meeting with him today. In return, he asked me to lift the Ash Curse. Well, I don't have much of a choice. 
You are getting close, child of fire. I can sense your presence. It is not safe here, so be careful. That uh, in that intro, there was a little instance where the subtitles and voice actor didn't match up. I'm always curious about those instances. There are lots of monsters roaming the area. You will have to fight your way through. Easy battle in the cemetery. Let's do this. Time to learn how the card game works. This is your character. If your character's health points are reduced to zero, you will have to restart from scratch. This is your opponent. To destroy this monster, reduce its health points to zero. At the start of each turn, your opponent will prepare a card for the next turn. Move the mouse cursor over the card to examine its effect. At the start of your turn, keep drawing cards from your battle deck until you have a full hand. A full hand consists of six cards. You cannot have more than ten cards in your hand. Playing cards costs mana. You have five mana points to use each turn. To play a card, drag it out of your hand and onto the monster. This might be very Slay the Spire. We have a character on the left and the right. They're getting ready to battle it out. We've got a card hand on the bottom of the screen. And specifically, you can see what the enemy is about to do before they do it. Uh, this actually might be taken directly after Slay the Spire. Which is interesting, because I know of another game that is gruesomely similar to Slay the Spire, which I don't think I've covered yet. Uh, it seems to be a subgenre. Just whenever something gets popular, you start seeing, like... The series of games that look like XCOM, or the series of games that look like like Darkest Dungeon, and so on. So I can deal 10 damage to an opponent, or 3 to an opponent. You do not need Ash to craft this card. I don't know what that means. Played cards are burnt and stored in the deck of Ashes. They cannot be used again. Ah. I guess we'll learn what that means over time. So I've done that. I guess I'll do some one mana attacks, because I've already used the big expensive one. Alright, well I did 16 damage, they did 10. So I'm winning in damage and they have less health than I do. We are really short on time, Lucia. Take care of the creature as soon as you can. Well, I sure hope I get more interesting cards than this. My choice is do 10 damage or do 3 damage. There we go. There will be no more cards in your battle deck soon. If you cannot draw enough cards for a full hand, Ash Pact is added to your hand. The Ash Pact allows you to renew cards in the deck of Ashes at the cost of your character's health points. Ah. Oh. Strain, 20. You must deal X damage to yourself to play this card. Renew five random cards. Okay, well for now I get to get away, I get to get, to get away with this. Taking him down to two hit points. You can still play this card cards this turn. Do I have to? I guess I have to, okay. Excellent. Now you have enough cards in your battle deck to finish off your opponent. Oh, right. It's it go, they go they go to your battle deck, not your hand. So you want to do you want to play it the turn before. I only need to do two damage. Flip. All right. So this was hopefully a a super simplified tutorial because you definitely would hope your hand you, that the cards would be more interested in than those two catch your breath after the battle and be on your way again you are wounded after every battle you set up a tent it turns your rest points which you can spend to heal up these are rest points spend your rest points to restore your health points okay so each point gives me 10%. How many points do I get? Just Does it refill every tent or do I get a set amount? You were almost there, keep moving. There's a camp. We finally meet. 
Come closer so I can restore your strength. There aren't many cards left in your battle deck. Uh, talk to the Ash Master so we can help you renew them. I'm going to perform a revitalizing rite. You will be able to do something similar soon. The Ash Master can renew all the cards from your deck of ashes. For free, evidently. Your cards have been renewed. You can now play them again during battle. Oh, so the deck, the discard pile lasts multiple fights. It, it's not just one fight. Huh. Well, that's, a, that's an issue. I know there are a lot of questions you want to ask me, but it's not safe here. We should leave. My people are waiting nearby. They will aid us in your journey. I recommend reformatting this window. Having to slowly crawl the text in is like agonizing slowly slow by the standards of how fast most people read, but also like the way the verticality of it is just distracting as it slowly crawls in and keeps expanding and then a couple letters into each word or word wraps because it's already hitting the cap on how wide this is allowed to be like there's a we're on a 16 by 9 screen it's a weird narrow space to allow to be used by that by the uh the text window i will teach you how to perform this right Nothing else I can do around here? Alright. You should not have trespassed on this land. I will find and crush you. Curses, we have disturbed the ruler of these lands. We don't have much time. It's already searching for us. The meter shows how much time you have left before you must engage in a battle with the ruler of this legion. I know a shortcut we can take. Let's go. That's the shortcut, not this question mark over here. We don't have a lot of time on our hands. We should get out of this place. Yes, so I have to go that way. The ruler is looking for you. That's a bit of an FTL counter where the capital is chasing after you. Whoop. You should not have trespassed in my land. I will fight and crush you. Curses, it is getting angrier and has blocked our path. We will have to take a detour. I guess we are going this way. Pain coursed through my body. I returned to that very moment on the day that goddamn fool Magnus released the curse. I became the target of a manhunt. Eventually, I caught and burnt. At, I was caught and burnt at the stake by those country bumpkins. The moronic expressions on their pans when they saw me rise from the ashes were absolutely priceless. On their pans. The memory helped me regain my strength. I'm ready to fight. Your crit chance is increased by 20% for one battle. Events can be positive and negative. The panel shows the effects that have been applied to you. Your pain is a source of power. This could prove to be useful to us in the future. Another enemy up ahead. Show what you've got. I question the purpose of empty tiles. I don't know. Usually in like a Slay the Spire or FTL or so on, a bunch of empty spaces don't really serve much of a purpose. Your crit chance is increased. Critical effects are twice as powerful as regular ones. Try using Strike on the enemy. Play the Fireball card on this- oh, it said try- it said try Strike, right? Oh, oh, the type of card is strike. Okay. Such power. Keep it up. Now I'm scary. I assume there must have been a gar guaranteed crit chance. Just to show the idea of a crit. Oh, 60 damage. That's bad. The monster has landed a critical hit on you. Here, use this card to restore your health points. If you don't, there is a chance you might die. Oh, you just... This just kind of showed up magically? Alright, sweet. Some monsters have passive abilities. Learn them to refine your tactics. Wrath of the Dead. When any character restores health points, Skeleton increases its strength by one. Strength increases the amount of damage dealt by strike cards. Okay. 
crit him. Nope, not this time. Not this time. I don't need that. I can kill him with this. There we go. Ah, so our, our reward is 20 ash to craft. It's time to put your newly acquired skill to use. You can now renew used, uh, used cards for rest points. Oh, so I can use them for health or for that. So that's the back and forth. All right, so I spent four on my healing and now I can buy cards back. Got my potion back. Probably want to maintain a ratio between these guys. Oh, I had enough for everything. Okay. I found a recipe for you. Take it. I'm sure it will come in handy soon. This is your recipe inventory. Recipes are essentially card blueprints. You'll learn how to craft cards with these later. Can I, can I learn now? You should not have trespassed. Do you think he just keeps saying that? We must prepare for battle. The ruler's very close. He's, he's, he's halfway there. He's living on a prayer. There are lots of undead creatures up ahead. We are going to need a more powerful deck to defeat them. Follow me. I know a place where we can find a few cards. Am I canonically fighting with cards? Scroll of Supremacy. Non-playable. Ash. At the end of your turn, deal three damage to the opponent with the lowest hit points. Boon strike. So I've got that in Cindering Ring now. We've gathered all the necessary recipes. Let us return now. Ambush. Start a battle. So I've got to just. I've just got to destroy this guy so that I can draw different cards. can't do this. I don't know what they're referring to. Oh well. Excellent. It's time you learn another rite. You can now spend rest points to craft cards from recipes. These are recipes. So now I can craft these via my ash points. I currently have 60. Cindering Ring. Deal 12 damage to an opponent. Discard a card from your of your choice from your hand. Ah. So it costs less to use than fireball. Uh, and does more damage, but it requires a card to be thrown away. Which is sometimes good if you're trying to burn through your deck. But th in this game, you kind of don't want to do that because you take damage when you have to restore your deck. At the end of your turn, deal three damage to the opponent with the lowest hit health points. Ash. <clears throat> Ash. While this card remains in the deck of ashes, you gain a bonus effect. Oh, so you use it up and then that just continually happens. Non-playable. This card cannot be played. Huh. Does that mean I have to discard it directly from my hand using the Cindering Ring? I think that is what that means. You become strong. It's time to go and defeat the monsters blocking our path. I gotta heal first. Calm down. No. I continually have just enough to get everything back. It's very... That must be very carefully orchestrated. I, I imagine there's only like one way for the fights to wear uh, play out unless I do a weirdly suboptimal turn. <clears throat> Every time you move to a tile with a question mark, there is a chance for an event or ambush to occur. Be careful. 
It is time to burn down all the filth in our path. Let's put your newly acquired skills to the test in battle. Some cards produce great effects when played together. Play powerful combos and obliterate your enemies. There are two special cards. Yep, I already know what that means. Yeah, no, I, I figured that out on my own, but thanks for explaining it. Whenever any character restores health points, Skeleton increases its strength by one. Ooh. I'd like it if you didn't do that. Alright, I'm taking 30 damage in one turn. That's not good. I got some damage out of him. When you have an ash card in your deck of ashes, you gain its bonus effect. So now I've got this. Yeah. It even actually looks like the uh, the buffs from... Uh, what's it called? The game that I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, oh, did I pick a three damage attack on accident? Whoops. Alright, well, let's kill this guy then. Uh, slay the Spire. Like that's reminiscent of the buffs and how they looked in that game. Okay, so you don't have to play everything. That was just the tutorial forcing me to play everything that I can that one time. Because it didn't make me heal this time. Let's get some things killed before they kill me. Gotta pick one or the other. Either way, either way, the three will hit, it'll, it'll hit someone. I guess my target doesn't really matter at that point. It'll find a person to hit. Let's get those 30 hit points back. There we go. Fireball. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to play any more cards. I should just end my turn. It'll do three damage this turn, and then, like, no matter what I do, he dies my next turn. I don't even, whether I play cards or not, he'll die because of my three damage effect. Oh, it keeps drawing a new one. Weird. Ta-da! Yeah, we need to renew some things. Click. Scroll of Supremacy, Potion. These are the priority things, I think. And Fireball is just so much more powerful than using Sparks. Still two left. Okay. We just, so far we've always had enough, I guess. And it looks like when you have a recipe, you can only craft one copy of that card and the recipe's gone. And I guess you must have to find another recipe if you want to make a dupe. If you can have dupes. The ruler is caught up with us. Onward, my people will help you prepare for, for battle. In another camp. I think I'm already prepared, unless you're gonna give me something new. Whoa. It's a lot of characters. So click here to start the battle. Everything else I can check things out. So, the herbalist sells healing items. The ash master renews the played decks in the deck of ashes. The merchant sells card recipes. The blacksmith helps you craft cards with recipes. All right. Uh, I have the money for both of these. Cool. And you'll craft them. Iron Fist. Deal four damage to an opponent. When you have this card in your hand, your strength is increased by one. Ah, so I think that means all of my attacks do one more damage as long as I keep it in my inventory. And then another Cindering Ring. I'll take it. I don't think you serve any purpose for me. I think everything's already renewed. Healing items. 60% of my max health. Does it get used now? Oh, it gets used now. I don't get to have it. What a waste of money. I didn't need that at all. Oh well. Well, now we know that. Whoa, you. I guess I would call you an ooze, maybe. Parasite. 
At the start of battle, this card is placed at the top of your battle deck. And I can't play it. So he's limiting how many cards I can draw by filling it with garbage. What a nice dude. All right, and I did not draw my ring, so I can't get rid of these. All right. Knowing that stuff like that exists in the game definitely adds to the context of why you would want the ring, aside from the synergy it has with the other card. So I just can't do anything with this. Yeah. That's not good. At the end of your turn, you can return some of the cards in your hand to the bottom of your battle deck. So do this with the Parasite cards. Oh. I didn't know about that. I thought I'd have to burn them with the ring. <laughs> I have a very small deck, so we'll see them before long. That seems almost overpowered if they're going to give me those kinds of uh, problems, doesn't it? The ability to throw something to the bottom of my deck so I won't encounter it until I'm completely out of other cards. Alright. Let's spend the ring to use the Scroll of Supremacy. And then do the 10 damage. Alright, now he's starting to take 3 damage per turn. Oh yeah. So now I drew the Iron Fist and everything else does one more damage, including the fist itself. My fireballs do 11 damage. And in particular, it helps with the sparks, which don't have very high damage to begin with, so they're all getting like a 30% bo uh, boost right now. That's good news. I'm not really ready to heal yet. And there's the Parasite. So I'll attack you and discard the Parasite. Goodbye. You both get burned now. And now I don't have to do anything. I can just end. And he'll he'll die for my passive. It still asks you whether you want to return stuff to your deck. Even though you've won the fight already. I guess it might affect what cards you start the next game with. What he said didn't match the subtitles at all. <laughs> Alright, so that's the prologue in the game Deck of Ashes. Uh, it's got potential. They have a decent idea here of going on an adventure where the cards you play from round to round are actually a dwindling resource. That's very unusual. So that is a, if they do it right, that's a particular form of strategy that could definitely set it apart from other games. Uh, visually, it's very reminiscent of elements of Slay the Spire in a way that seems rather intentional. Uh, and the mechanics were incredibly simple in the tutorial. Like, I, I get that it was a, tu a tutorial, but it's just, that's the, uh... I think that might be the most handheld I've been playing a card game, and I've, I've played a handful on here at, at, at this point. Usually they're either more complicated in a way that, that uh, justifies how handholdy they're being, or they're just significantly less handholdy because you kind of inherently don't have to hyper explain uh, card games because there just aren't. They're, they're games where the, the rules of every card is on the card. So just giving the uh, the basic mechanics of like, here's how the, the graveyard works and stuff like that, and explaining those basics and then letting people just run loose with a bunch of crazy cards uh, usually works, as far as I've seen at least. But anyway, thanks for watching like always, guys. Thanks to developers for giving me an advanced co code of this game so I can preview their game. If you want to try it out, uh, you can check it out the uh, link in the description to the Steam page. If it's not out yet, you can wishlist it to get an email when it does come out. Uh, thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, wait, there's also a how to play. Oh, yeah. But it's a different how to play. Yeah, it's explaining the world mechanics, which actually I don't know about. So feel free to pause if you want to read th these slides real quick for a bit more context. But I'm ready to head out. See you guys next time.